Okay, so this is, uh, we're still on section G, the miscellaneous section, and we've got three, question three to do, and I'm going to do this across two pages, so I'm going to start with question A here. So let's read it through. Two integers A and B are combined using the operation triangle, or however you want to call it. Uh, I think you can call it delta as well, capital delta, um, in the following way. A, let's call it triangle, A triangle B means that you do a squared plus a minus 4b minus 4b squared. So it's just sum, it's not multiply, it's not divide, it's some operation which makes it do this. And it's asking us to find the solutions of the equation a triangle 2 equals 0. Sorry, x triangle 2. So let's find out what triangle 2 is going to do. And all we've got to do is compare that for x and that for 2. So it gives us x squared plus x, and then the 2, which is b, is minus 4 lots of b, 4 lots of 2, minus our b squared, in our case it's 2. So x triangle 2 is going to give us x squared, and it's really useful because I'm on my Mac and it keeps popping up with these interesting things at the bottom, really useful, uh, plus x uh, minus 8 minus 4, so it's minus 12. Okay. So, we're now asked, if we're asked to solve, oh, this is really irritating me, this little thing at the bottom. If we're asked to solve, oh, it's back, x triangle 2 equals 0, what we're really asked to solve is x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, let's move over to this side. Oh, it's obviously hovering just above the word symbol there. So x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. Well that's easy if you factorise that. See all the programs I've got installed on my computer. How interesting. Uh, x and x minus 12, so it's got to be plus 4 and minus 3. So this tells me that x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So therefore x is equal to minus 4 or x is equal to 3. And they're my two solutions. So they're my solutions to the equation x triangle 2 is equal to 0. Let's go over the page and then look at part b. Let's go over the page and look at it. It says, if A is 4 greater than B, prove that A triangle B is always a multiple of 5. If A is always 4 more than... Well, let's write this out first. Well, what is A triangle B? Well, we know it's A squared plus A minus 4B minus B squared. But we're also told this key piece of information, A is 4 greater than B. So really, A is equal to B plus 4. So what I can do is I can go through and change. Every time there's an A, I can change the expression with B plus 4. So that tells me, i.e., B plus 4 squared plus there's another a, so it's another b plus 4. Then I've got to take away 4b. Then I've got to take away b squared. So I've done my a triangle b, but I've also then changed to change it with this expression here, because this says a is equal to 4, b plus 4. a is 4 greater than b. So let's expand this. So I get b squared plus 8b plus 16 plus b plus 4 minus 4b minus b squared. Okay. Oh, okay. So b squared and b squared, they cancel out. Then I've got 8b plus b, which is 9b minus is 5b. And then I've got 16 plus 4, 5b plus 20. Now, if I just come up here, I, can, I want to show it's a multiple of 5. So the best way to do that is to take out a factor of 5. So 5, lots of b plus 4 
or five lots of a possibly. So we'll see this. This is always a multiple of five. So we've shown what we've been asked to show. Okay, and if you weren't too distracted by all these stupid things that are appearing on the bottom, then um, hopefully it makes sense. If you need to go back and watch anything again,